Hey, Craig the Pool Man here with Pool Specialist. Um, I got a quickie for you. And if you happen to walk up on a Jandy Aqualink system that the lights are out, um, it is most likely the fuse has blown. So I'm gonna show you how to get to that. And then we'll show you some debugging tricks. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check the circuit breaker for the control panel. Um, I removed the cover, but the cover says that this is a circuit breaker for the control panel. And you can flip it all the way off and then all the way on and see if the lights come on, if it hit false tripped, that may have solved your problem. But chances are that's not what the problem is. So chances are we're gonna to have to drop this board. So we're going to remove the screws at the top of the panel and then we're going to drop this down. Um, this is actually an expansion board. This is really, really important. This is great so that you only have one set of wires going into each one of those plugs. If you kind of bunch them up, you're going to run into problems. All right, so this is the power coming in. So the first thing that we want to do is remove this and then we're going to get our meter and we're going to check that. This is our plug from our transformer. So we put one lead on the one yellow plug, yellow wire, and the other lead on the other yellow wire. And you should be getting 25 or 26 volts out of this. If you are getting 25 or 26 volts out of it, then it is most likely this fuse has gone bad. And you can test that on the ohm position. We're gonna go ahead and give you the part number for this on Amazon. I would buy a bunch of them and you're gonna find out why in a minute. But go ahead and put the new fuse in. And then of course, you're going to plug the connector back into that white piece right here and turn on the circuit breaker. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our circuit breaker back on. And you can immediately see that the lights are dancing. And when the lights settle out, it should go into auto mode. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is put this in service mode or I prefer timeout mode. And then you are going to go through every single one of these buttons and turn them all on. And make sure that the fuse does not blow. And if the fuse blows, then what you're gonna find is that that particular relay associated with it is shorted out and causing the power to be shorted. But typically it's not one of these relays that's causing the problem. More than likely, it is actually the actuator. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to start changing your actuators and looking to see whether that trips the fuse. Generally speaking, almost about 99% of the time, it's one of the actuators that are plugged into these ports. So go ahead and turn them from one position to the other position. And when your circuit, when your fuse fails and trips, that's the actuator that has to get replaced. The same would be true for the relays. If you turn a relay on and the lights go out, then that means that is the relay that is shorted. So as it turned out, our return actuator has failed and is shorted. So when it goes from one mode to the other mode, it actually blows the fuse out. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that return actuator and problem is now solved. We now have our panel back together. Of course, all the lights are on. It's in auto mode and functioning correctly. So problem is solved. Hope you found this educational. If you did, drop us a like, follow us. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.